Okay, 23, we have a developer, and he has a land that is X feet of lake. And the land is to be divided into lots, each of which is either 80 feet or 100 feet of lake frontage. So you have lots. There's 80 foot lots, and there is 100 foot lots. Two of them. Okay, well, what other information do you have? Well, one ninth of the lots have 80 feet frontage. Okay, so one ninth of them have 80 feet frontage. Okay, what else? Well, each and the remaining 40 lots, so we have 40 lots, have 100 frontage each. So you could say that, oh, 8 ninth have 40. That is, they have, there are a total of 40 lots, and that 40 lots represents 8 ninths of the total. Huh, let's just look at this. What's the difference between 1 ninth and 8 ninths? Well, 8 ninths is 8 times as great as 1 ninths. So you can see that if I multiply 8 times 1 ninth, hey, I get to 8 ninths. Now, if 8 ninths is 40 lots, which is 8 times as great as those that correspond to the 80 foot frontage, well, you know that, hey, we have now 5 lots that are 80 foot. 80 foot of frontage, and of course we get the original 100 foot lots here, which are 100 foot feet of 40, of which there are 40 lots, and just like that, we can do the math, and there's our answer, 4400, which is D. Now, interestingly to note, let's say you weren't able to do this quick little math thing here. You could have still gotten the answer through process of elimination. This part's easy. There's 40 lots, 100 feet each, that's 4,000 feet right there. Notice A, B, and C are much lower than that. Then you have these 80 foot lots, and there's significantly fewer of them. And if you look at E, it's saying that basically if there are 80 foot worth, we have 80 foot lots and 760, that means there's almost 10 of them. You can see that 10 and 40, well, that doesn't seem to have that one ninth fraction involved. So you can even work backwards from the answers and still arrive at it.